Good afternoon and welcome to your weekly science renovation construction update. I uh, hope a lot of you have um, picked up your Google Cardboard or have your uh, finger at the ready for uh, moving these things through YouTube, um, getting better at not moving the 360 degree camera around. So I'm going to rely on you guys to, uh, to, to move the video around to see the things that you are interested in seeing. Uh, I'm J.D. Ferrisrow, CIO of Burgoff Jesuit, and we are six days from the start of school. So things uh, are either really starting to come together down here, or they better be soon. Um, actually, since last week, a lot of stuff has been done. I'm going to show you some of the details this week of what's been going on. And then, as always, if you have any questions, you're more than welcome to uh, put them in the comments down below or tweet me at J.D. Ferris. I uh, thought I'd start from the other end of the hallway. Uh, one of the exciting things down at this end of the hallway is that we have the hallway floor in this week. Last week we didn't have that. And some of you had asked about what we're doing with the Burbuff symbol. We have the, uh, the kind of science logo of Burbuff drawn out in uh, the chemi chemical formulas from the periodic table. And not only does it, is it still alive and well, but uh, we actually put it into the floor. So if you move your cardboard or move your mouse down, you'll see that on the floor we have the uh, Burbuff chemical symbols put into the floor. We were kind of uh, impressed when we saw that we had the ability to do that. And let's start moving through and show you what some of the rooms look like. So we're gonna go, we're gonna start out in the chemistry lab. And again, in the chemistry labs, or in, in most of the labs, you'll notice that we didn't replace a lot of the wood. We like the wood and the tables do a really good job and frankly, we couldn't necessarily um, find enough of the money that we would have needed to replace tables that are, are perfectly functional and perfectly good. And so you'll see that the, the structure, for those of you who have been at Burbuff for a long time, you'll notice that the tables are the same, the layout is the same, because a lot of this stuff is still functional. So what we wanted to do in some of the older labs was what could we do to make them the best labs possible without necessarily buying all new furniture. So as you look around, you'll notice that in this room, um, it kind of has that three projection area, three projection space idea. You have the projector up top, the screen um, pointing at the wall, and then we have two of the monitors. Um, look at me spinning the camera around again. So we have two monitors in the corner so that the idea being any student from anywhere in the lab can see video instructions or video demonstrations or information that the teacher finds important. One of the other things that we talked about that we wanted in these rooms was a place for not just one student or one teacher to write, but maybe a place where every lab group could put information or formulas down. And so what we've done is this wall, the, uh, the facing wall, the long one in this room, is going to be a, actually a whiteboard surface that any student will be able to write on, where we've been watching them as they've been coding it and treating it with um, the special material necessary to create the whiteboard surface, the writable surface. You'll also see that we've got new fume hoods going in almost every lab, um, as well as eye wash stations, showers, um, all of the safety equipment that we wanted to make sure that the, the rooms were as good as possible. Uh, I'm happy to show, to be able to show you really for the first time, what we've done in our lecture halls. We have two lecture halls on this floor. And so it was gonna be very difficult for us to bring in um, the flexible seating that we do in a lot of the other classrooms. So rather than do the flexible seating, we decided to do some classic college style lecture seating. But you'll notice that the lecture seating that we have still gives you plenty of space to move around. So it's not one of those old school cramped ones. They did that by having the seats as part of the table, but easily able to move out, to spin around, to have conversations with people. We also, since we weren't going to be able to give the flexibility that we were used to being able to provide, put power into these stations. So students will be able to add the power, um, charge their devices, charge their phones or their laptops or their tablets from here. Um, this room isn't complete yet because I noticed some of you would already be commenting on the fact that JD hates smart boards. Um, that smart board is going away. We've got a vertical um, whiteboard system, a vertical board system coming in to give us twice as much writing space in this lecture hall, uh, similar to the lecture hall we have in the other. And then um, for those of you who noticed that we had no technology last week, 
Um, you'll notice that we have almost all of the technology in this week. We spent most of the week hanging technology, um, hanging screens, hanging boards, projectors, TVs, um, all that will be wired into the cabinets. And we've just started building the cabinets now. For those of you who have seen our other constructions, you'll recognize these are the cabinets that we use to hold the um, to hold all the technology. We run somewhere in the neighborhood. Um, we're trying to figure it out. Depending on the room, we're running about a mile, um, a little bit less than a mile to, to a little bit over a mile of wire in every room in order to make our systems work, whether it's the wireless network, the control touch panel that controls um, up to four sources and up to three screens in every classroom. Um, that includes our um, our document camera, which is provided the Ladybug Lumens camera, uh, the computer, the click share that we use to share wireless controls. This is the biology lab. This is going to be the last room that's finished, um, probably late next week. And in the biology lab, one of the things that's interesting to notice, if you look up to the ceiling, you'll see that we have a, a Nautilus system, um, which will provide the, the water, the gas, um, all of the things that are usually built into the lab table, they're going to come from the ceiling. By coming from the ceiling, it gives us the ability to make those tables mobile so that we can group them together, cluster them, or spread them apart depending on what is needed for that particular activity. Um, so that flexibility can even extend to the labs if you have the right equipment. As we walk, walk along here on my right hand side, you'll see that we've got the boards going up um, that will be the digital print for this entire area. And as you look, you'll see that we tried to capture the idea of what does science look like, um, whether it's physics or chemistry or biology. And those will be full wall digital signs, um, but they're not in yet. They probably won't be in for the start of school. We were a little bit delayed on getting the the order in and finalized and so because of that we're not going to have them up for the start of school they should be up soon but we wanted to give all the students and teachers the impression of what this wall was going to look like when it's completely done um, this is our largest lecture room this is our physics lecture room and as you can see it already has we kept the classic blackboard um, and whiteboard system and then added to that the new technology the multi screens the lecture style seating with the power um, in the desks so that we preserve a lot of what the physics department liked and then added a little bit to it in terms of um, adding some technology. I wanna see, I'm not sure if I can get into this room today. We'll just peek in with the selfie cam. This is the physics lab and one of the designs that we wanted to go for in the physics lab that we thought would be useful is the, the flooring itself is going to be broken into meter squares and the idea being that with all the measuring that you do in physics with all of the the importance of um, you know distance velocity acceleration that we wanted to make the floor itself part of the physics environment and so we were able to use special flooring that they've been spending a lot of time making um, that's been about a four-day install as they've been custom cutting the vinyl that is going down in order to make that physics lab a reality. You'll notice there's a lot of people still working in here even though we're at Friday afternoon. Uh, necessary for us to get all of this done. So we've got flooring people coming in working in the evenings. Um, we still have electricians in the building right now as well as plumbers finishing up everything that we're doing. We're into the biology area now in the bio area. Um, a lot of this was almost done when you when you saw last week's video. I mean, we put in the technology. Um, you'll start to see furniture is coming in in terms of the chairs. The flexible tables get here next week. Um, we don't have the stand, the computer stands on any of the tables yet because we're waiting. They're doing a deep cleaning of the floors and the tables this weekend. So as those as those get ready to go, we'll be. Um, putting the, the laptop stands on next week, uh, early next week, and then finishing the wiring for the technology. As you see, as you go through different rooms, you'll see we're in different states of having the technology ready. We have some where we've lit and we're just waiting on programming the board. Some of them where we have the large stack of equipment and all the wiring to the facility, 
We're just waiting to install it inside the cabinet and get it programmed so that it's ready for the first day of school. TJ is putting up our wireless access points and making sure that we have the, wire, the best wireless signal down here. Um, for those of you who are asking, yes, we have new wireless coming into the building um, and it'll be coming in in phases. So in phase one, we're just making sure we have enough wireless in the area. And then in phase two, we're gonna start to increase capacity. Phase one will be done for the start of school. Everyone will have wireless for the start of school. Phase two probably won't be um, complete until after school begins where we put in a new wireless network down here with new access points, probably new password authentication. Um, we haven't quite worked out how all the details of that work yet. This is one of the last rooms that we're working on wiring. So this, you can actually see the exposed wire where you've got the, you know, the tangle of cords that will eventually be go in that corner and, and create our technology interface unit. And then as we move into, um, this is the area I couldn't get into last week because we were laying the flooring. This is the, the office and student collaboration area, um, similar to what you've seen in the other departments, but with one of our larger departments, they have a lot more space to give students tables to work with the teachers at. What you see going up now is just the frame of the cubicles um, that the teachers will operate out of. And then as the cubicles get finished, um, then we will add tabletops and wires and phones and chairs and cabinets. Everything that's kind of sitting in the center right now gets spread out and installed. I think that's about it. I feel like we've covered, you've seen physics, you've seen the chemistry rooms, we've talked a little bit about the technology, you've seen the walls. Um, you'll notice in this section we don't have a floor laid yet, that's what's going in this weekend. But in all of the rooms we've got floors, furniture, cabinetry, um, all starting to go in and get finalized. We uh, Overhead we're almost completely done in terms of lights and ceiling tiles, HVAC so that what's left is really technology in terms of installing speakers. We've got the in-room speakers that we've used in all of the other classrooms so that the, you know, you turn on a movie and it's gonna play through four ceiling mounted speakers. We've also got um, wireless access points and projectors that get hung. And that's about it for the ceiling. So we're excited about this and finishing up this week. Lots of work to be done this weekend and lots of work to be done Monday and Tuesday as we move from um, a construction area into a classroom area and finish up all the work that we've been doing. Hope this helps. As always, if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, or anything in particular that you wanna see uh, next week, let me know. Uh, Twitter at JD Ferris, uh, JD Ferris at gmail.com, or just reply to the YouTube video and I'll be happy to look at the comments. Have a great weekend and enjoy Gen Con.